Interesting. In- <laughs> hmm. Intriguing. Why did they show those black people before? <laughs> yeah. <I'm confused. laughs> Why didn't they have a better mix? Are they even stupid? Dribbling, 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 passing the ball. Get it, Daniel. Where, which one? You don't give me any DT setup. DTmerch.com. Oh, DTmerch.com. You guys can go there anytime. DTmerch.com. That's where all of our mainstays are at. Um, we have the classic black tee with the white logo. The shirts are super soft. I feel like they run a little big, so I ordered an extra large, and it was kind of big on me. Um, sweaters, I love them so much. Phone cases, backpacks, beanies. All that good stuff. All that shit. All that good shit. We love it when you buy stuff, and we love it when you take photos and send it to us. If you catch a live stream, you can be a part of it. And you can participate with an email, phone call, Skype. But got to have that subscription. So please, subscribe in many ways over at DoubleToasted.com. But the way I recommend is using your Amazon account, combining it with the Amazon Pay button, press and send after you put your username and account number in there. And then you're like, ooh, I got them tingles. What is it? It's that toasty goodness all over your body. <laughs> Double toasted. What you doing tonight? What you doing tonight? <laughs> As I get creepy and creepy every week. What are you doing tonight, girl? And today, Heineken, there was a commercial that got a lot of attention and maybe oh, not Lord. the attention that yeah. it wanted. All right. I, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to play this for you. Uh, in, and I'm going to play it for you, Danielle. And I'm going to play it for our audience here. I'm not going to say a word. I'm not going in with any kind of opinion one way or the other. I'm not trying to sway anybody. I'm just going to let you watch, and I'm going to see what you get from this. This is a commercial for Heineken beer. Interesting. And, <laughs> hmm. Intriguing. Why did they show those black people before? <laughs> yeah. <I'm confused. laughs> Why didn't they have a better mix? Are they even stupid? So you just <laughs> put a mix of... Did, so, d- is everybody saying the same thing? Yeah, definitely. Okay, now let me, Oz, did you, did, did, Oz, what was your take on this? Did you, did, let, me, Oz, let, me, Oz, let me, first of all, let me find you, my man. Where did you go? Oz, where, where are you? Let me find you. The commercial would have worked if they wouldn't have had seven black people in a row and then <laughs> yeah. one white girl talking about lighter is better. They went, yo, they went out their way to find the blackest black people, right? <laughs> to have this beer slide by. I'm like, okay, no problem, no problem. But then the text comes up. Light is over. Light is better. Are you kidding me? It went. It went by your girl from Wakanda right there. Yeah. <laughs> went by the one the the Dora do, do, Milaje right there, and uh, and he goes, yeah, you're going by another black person, a black person, three uh, in a row. There's two in the back, five. Grace Jones. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> so let me explain this to people who are listening. If you haven't seen the commercial. So what happens here is that you have a bartender and uh, and he looks like he's from Spain or something. And he's working at this bar that looks like it's in Jamaica because mm-hmm. him and one other person are only light-skinned people in there that we can see, maybe for a few extras in the background. But he sees this woman at the end of the bar and he decides to slide a Heineken to her. So when he slides it to her, it goes by one black woman, another black man, shade gets darker, we get darker with another woman here. And finally, it reaches its goal, and it's picked up by a woman who's light-skinned. In the, let me scoot back a little bit. In the tagline for this, if you give me a little time here. Not light-skinned as in light-skinned African-American. She's light-skinned as like she's white or Asian or something. Uh, uh, yeah, a, a, a Euro-Latino or something. Right. But yeah. the tagline is sometimes lighter is better. To infer that they're serving light beer. So it was Heineken light commercial. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So they're trying to make a play on words with lighter as, okay, a lighter beer is better. Mm. Meanwhile, they, just <laughs> meanwhile like lighter. they just come off of showing a bunch of black people. <laughs> Pretty much saying. And to come to that tagline is, is you know, yeah. it could be triggering. It could be very triggering. Yeah, and, and you know, not I'm, I'm I'm telling you, it's not just black people looking at this. I mean, it was. I heard him uh, today. I heard a collector. What the fuck? I was wondering where it was coming from. <laughs> I didn't know. I was like, what happened? And now I saw the commercial. Like, oh, 
Chance the Rapper is the one that put it out there and, it, and then it made the news. But there are a lot of people, black, white, in between, who looked at this and said, not one person who worked on this campaign saw this and said, stop. <laughs> That's always don't, the case. Don't, hey, stop. Don't put that out. Oh, it's gone? Oh, shit. <laughs> they try to run after this bed that's sliding across. They couldn't <laughs> <Yeah>. catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Missing it. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> now, you know, I don't. I do, and uh, uh, people are going to get mad at me for saying this because I know that there's the camp of people who say that, man, they knew what they were doing. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I was to. waiting for. What's that? They had to have known. They knew what they, they were doing. But they they did not know what they were doing. I, I say that to say they knew that they wanted to get more color into the uh, commercial because they didn't want to get any backlash from it. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, they knew they had they had this tagline in there and they put two and two together and nobody checked both of them at the same time to see that it made sense. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I'm I'm chalking this one up to ignorance again. I'm chalking this up to ignorance, too. And I've seen it firsthand. <laughs> This is why I tell these companies, hire more people of color. I'm telling you, it is not just meeting a quota. It is not just some affirmative (laughs) action shit. It will save you money. It will save you legal (laughs) fees. It will save you bad marketing. Get some color up in your company, please. Mm -hmm. I can. There's not one black person who would have looked at this and said, yeah, looks right to me. Why didn't they just have a Why didn't they just have a black person pick up the fucking thing? Pick up the beer. I don't know. Because that Danielle, would they, 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 because they it's subconscious. It would, I'm not, I'm not going to even say it's subconscious. It, well, in a way, in a way, it's in the it, people. They are just raised to see that certain shades of color or certain certain people are in the forefront, and others play the background. If you mm-hmm. uh, they add some color to the background, if you will. And people are just trained to think that way. That's yes. why that you know. That's why people, when, for example, when they see Black Panther, and they see a bunch of black people in it, and they say, "Okay, this movie." And, and the most extreme are this movie's racist. Or they see it in like, "Why are there so many black people in this movie?" But they never question the opposite. That's why yep. people see what I've done here, and they say, "I just want you to. I'm trying to help you. Make sure you get some white people in there, because." I don't want people to criticize you. And I'm like, well, that's people's problems. You know, because mm-hmm. if I said if there was a whole, if, if this is a cast of full white people, maybe today some people would be like, yeah, you need some color in there. But nobody would be questioning it that much. Right. Right. You know, uh, that is why I'm, that, I didn't go off on Dove. You th- that, this is what puzzles me. You would think that after the, this whole thing, the, the fiasco with Dove Soap, where they did this thing, I don't even think that, I really don't think that they meant anything racist by it, where they had a... Uh, 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 they were just trying to show that different shades of people use this soap, but for some mm-hmm. people it came across as, all right, well, since I'm a dark-skinned colored girl who's taking my shirt off and I'm turning into a white person, some people took it as, well, you scrubbing the blackness off of you, which I don't yep. think they meant it that way, but I don't, you know, I, I think there are a worse, uh, more offending situations out there, but yeah. uh, it is something where somebody of color could have said, listen, I'm not offended by this, but it does come across a certain way and we need to rethink this. And somebody would have said, Oh, That's I can see what risk. you're saying. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I didn't see that. Glad you caught it. And, you know? and again, a lot of these commercials are overseas commercials. That's what I was going to say. And so the, the checks and balances over there are going to be too high because again, you know, how, how many black people today are they going to are employed over there? I don't know. I'm just I can't talking. tell you how many times. You know what I mean? When I was went to school in Australia, I can't tell you how many times I would see advertisements, commercials, and even in magazines like mm-hmm. print. I'd be like, "How do you? How does this fly here?" As far as like racism and sexual content, it mm-hmm. was it would blow my mind back in the day seeing these things, and it would just be the people were just numb to the shit. Danielle, Carlos gave me. Mammy coffee. <laughs> right. yeah. Oh, that is Mammy. Let me see. If yeah. It really is. It, you know what? Even even smells like Mammy. Nothing like the smell of Mammy in the morning. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> Mammy. <laughs> yeah. It, because, uh, you know, they, the, the, I guess it's just not as many darker skinned people 
there is. There is? Okay, I'm thinking. It's, it's, it's sometimes a cultural thing, and it's, and it's done out of ignorance. But this is why people tell you, hire more people of color because today the world is more globalized. People are seeing these ads more. There would have been a time where people of color wouldn't have had the voice to say anything. They would have grumbled. They would have been mad. And we in our community would have known it's wrong. But we wouldn't have been able to say anything uh, because the, the, you know, uh, the marketing was part, predominantly done to what they considered the the the, uh, the higher demographic, um, but here today people are looking at this and people immediately are saying, and thanks to the internet, they immediately are saying, "Cut that shit out yeah. right now." I mean, that one could have easily been resolved as if a African American person would have picked up the fucking beer. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> it's gonna, not going to make people feel any better. You're going to, you know, your person of color, you're going to tell your team, "Listen, we can't do this," and they're going to be like, "Well." Geez, you people are sensitive, but you know what? You have a point. <laughs> these we'll, advertisements, we'll the thing that bo that boggles my mind is that these advertisements go through so many levels of approval and writing and filming and refilming and rewriting and shit. And you got to get things approved every single second of every single... Yeah. How did but they again, miss that? that's, that's probably overseas where the stuff gets shot, not here in America where, you know, where people would be like, okay, we need to cut this shit out. Well, I'll I mean, tell the you checks how... and bounces over there are probably a little mm. more... Yeah. Uh, lighter. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I tell you how much is in people's subconscious. There was a friend of mine, and Martin can tell you this. Uh, he was with me. There was a friend of mine who invited me to a screening of his documentary, and, he, and I'm not going to tell you what the subject was, but he he was talking to you know the people that he was talking to. It was a full white cast of uh, of, of people being interviewed and subjects. And there was one part of the movie that he that that stood out to me. And, he, and at the end of the movie, he asked for people's opinions and feedback. That's why he brought their people for it. And I and I pulled him aside. And this is a guy that I'm we're really good friends. And I pulled him aside and I said, "Okay, there was one part of the movie that I don't I still don't get. Maybe you can explain it to me." Out of all the times that they were talking about, you know, talking to these people who were white as interviewees and subjects, uh, there was one part he talked about how. Uh, and uh, in poverty-ridden people, and people in uh, you know who are who are who are, uh, who are uh, somehow exposed to crime a lot and whatnot, and for some reason he just picked out this random B-roll of black people walking down the street, <laughs> and I said, man, I said, can you explain to me why you inserted that just that one like five-second shot when you were talking about? crime and, and poverty when that had, you know, none of these people in the movie were looking like that. He sat back and he's like, Jesus Christ, I, I'm sorry, man. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> and I see, you know, he really, it was, it dawned on him. He would, he didn't, he's not racist. He didn't right. mean anything. He did something that was, that was planted in his mind subconscious. And when he was very young and stayed, and this is a guy who was probably the most liberal person that I know. You know that. That's why I know that these people don't mean it. That's why right. I know that there's that that, that they that, that they they don't see it. Yeah. That promotional advertisement wasn't done in the U.S. Probably was done overseas, like Daniel said, because there's a lot of different um, cultural difference and sensibilities when it comes to race. Specifically, at least I can only speak for Puerto Rico because I can see um, that's a Spanish guy right there. That could be easily a European commercial. Um, at least in Puerto Rico. Uh, it was a time that was mostly dominated by Spanish and slavery. I'm eating dried coffee, by the way. <laughs> it might be racist, but it's really good. <laughs> no, it's really good coffee. It's one of my favorite coffees. So in that sense, I do understand some people might see that as insensitive, but at the same time, you guys see the, the historical value that it has. Like, hey, man, like, if you see our music and a lot of the wardrobes, like a historical wardrobe of music, it's all black. Yeah. A lot of it is all from Africa. yeah. yeah. Like, you know. I got you. No, I got you, man. And you know, and I understand the, I understand the cultural. I understand the, the the cultural influence behind some things. I do, but it, you know, my my problem with it is when you, is when you again you just make people second class. You make people an afterthought. Mm -hmm. You make them a, you make them background. You know, oh, and, correct. Or, or you show them in ways that people see them. I mean, uh, you know, it goes back. I hate to keep bringing it up, but that is why Black Panther was so cool because so many products, so many movies, we've been depicted as. Ignorant, less than, background, uh, supporting, uh, comic, comic relief. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, and we see, we still see that in some marketing around the world. And yeah, I, 
I don't approve. I get it, but I still that doesn't mean I have to approve. And mm-hmm. when I see something like this, it just kind of, you know, it, it kind of reinforces those feelings, man. That it's you know we have made some progress here, but in other countries, we are still seen as in people's minds, even if it's not that way out in the open. People's minds are still kind of second class. And the only way to change that is to speak up about it, not expect.